I also wanted to ask you about working with Zack Snyder specifically, because one of the things I admire about him most as a filmmaker is his kind of next level visuals. So can you feel that from the actor perspective that he is just kind of, you know, like framing a beautiful shot around you? I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of the, the stuff around me actually. Now I'm thinking about it. And it's interesting because he's very personable and very like, we had some real, I wasn't on that set very long, but we had some really good conversations. He's a good person. And like, he gave me some good advice. But I really felt like it was about the character, actually. I didn't feel the, the whole scope of it at all. It was, very, and, and I think that helped with the nerves because he would give me like acting notes. He wouldn't say like, oh, you're, it looks like this. Remember to do this. You need to be, you know, you need to match the set, the setting or whatever. I actually don't, didn't feel that actually at all. And that really is a credit to him because Sometimes you have directors who make you fit into their, like what they have in their mind and they only, they only care about the shot. I, I don't, I and mean, he gave us time. There was a scene with Holly Hunter and we had time to work it out. Like I was like, wow, I, have, I really thought this was gonna be maybe an hour shooting and we really, worked out all the ins and outs of the character and where we're, where we've been, where we're going. Like before we even blocked the scene, we were on it for like an hour and a half, two hours. I was like, wow, I just, he gave us time. It, did, it wasn't about, I'm sure, I mean, it obviously was cause that's what you see too. Like it obviously was about the shot, but it wasn't, I didn't feel that from him. I felt, I felt guided through it, definitely. Mm -hmm.